there's a report here that um you know, Dave Umai in his uh, in his area has sold out a piece of land to the Fulanis and they, they renamed the community. So these are the things that we are not going to allow to happen. Okay, Fulani militants, Mayans and Hoarders currently living in a Boeing state has remained named a community called Ababo Isu. That's the original name of the community in a Boeing state of Biafra land with the approval of Governor Dave Umahi, Engineer Dave Umahi, who is currently vying for the position of Vice President. I don't want to talk about this. The important thing is that I don't I don't want to talk about him because it's not important. These people are just fooling themselves. He has sold a piece of land in the community to Fulani people and they have renamed the community they have renamed it. The place sold out is called Ababoisu in Onicha local government area of Ebony State. A town just after Mr. Dave Omahi's uh, local government. It's quite close to where he is, so he gave them the land. Mr. Omahi sold and gave out the land to the Fulanese to which the Fulanese criminally renamed Ababo to Aru Aru. Aru. A R U U. What's the name? Is that an Igbo name? What what kind of name is that? Aru. To which we don't know the meaning, of course, as the name has nothing to do with our existence as a people. Just two weeks ago, a Fulani boy had a misunderstanding that could have resulted in the conflict with a nearby town boy, and the Fulani boy ran back to their camp only to come back with their Fulani killer squad, and they shot spontaneously into the air nobody was killed anyway in that incident so what we are saying is that they have no Dave Mai has no right whatsoever to change the to change the name of the community the people in the community now that are calling for help they are asking for help because they, there's no reason why their land should be sold to full knees these people are just coming you know let's not overlook this is serious it's getting serious and more serious or to boy, we spoke about to boy yesterday on this program, and uh, uh, where they're uh, creating the uh, uh, Sadana for Tubo or Sadana, Sadana or Tubo, <laughs> not there's no off in it, it's Sadana or Tubo. They are coming down, what they are trying to do is take over our land, but it's not going to happen. Meanwhile, these people that are doing this, the so called northerners, these people are taking over their land gradually, small, small. All the killings, if you watch, the, the majority of the killings today is going on in the north. ESN will protect our home and we should please do all we can to support them. We should do all we can to make contributions wherever we can, especially those of us in diaspora, those of us in the United States of America, for God's sake. Ten dollars a week is not too much. It's not too much. There's nobody who cannot afford it. Even if you didn't afford to come, come, you'll be able to afford at least ten dollars a week. Pay it into this account. Make it a recurrent thing. Just tell your bank every week or every month this send X Y Z amount to this, and you won't even feel it. Trust me. If you give it to your bank to do, they'll do it so well that you won't even feel the pain. You won't even know when the money is out. But if you want to do it on your own, it's okay also to do it on your own. But most of the time, it's always better to you know make it a recurrent payment because when you try in the bank to send money, they ask you, do you want to do this every day or every month or just hit a recurrent and it will go. It's very easy. It's not a difficult thing. It's not much to put for your own security. Where you live, people are securing you. We all live here in New York. Uh, they said, you know, the police are, most of the time, we don't like to see the police, but believe me, it's a time you, you need them so much. When you see something happening and you are wishing that they were around. But sometimes when there's nothing happening, everything is peaceful and you see them, it's like, uh, look at these people. They are not, they are there to protect you. Believe me, they are your friends. Especially in this country where I live. No matter what you say, I want them around me all the time. I feel comfortable with them. They pull me over most of it. Sometimes they give me a ticket. It does, still doesn't make them my enemies. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> you don't want them. You don't need them. They can be like a militia. You know, militia is something you cannot swallow. It will turn your stomach. You cannot throw it away near your house because it will smell you. So they are, that's what they are. They are militia. 
but we need them. We need ESN. Believe me sincerely. No matter what you do, we need them so much more than they even need us. And more especially, these people are volunteers. They are not employees. They are not employed by anybody. They go out there voluntarily, but we know one thing. It's our responsibility to make sure that they eat, to make sure that they have medical treatment, to make sure that we clothe them, to make sure that they don't go naked. So make your donations. Just think about it yourself. Forget about the selfishness of asking the silly question because the face of ours, hey, all this money we are putting, where is the money? Well, you have seen where the money is. Even keeping those men without equipping them alone, you know how much what it will take to, to feed those people. These are volunteers, like I said. They are not like people who are coming for employment uh, at the end of the month you're going to pay them. No. <laughs> Well, this is what we am. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and happy families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm -hmm. in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one more river to vanish in for two lives. Ah, let the great Biafra army to fight. And they were singing out. Yeah.